This program is brought to you by Emory University. Art enthusiasts came in numbers to last week's Tibetan Thangka art show to watch artist Tenzin Norbu paint. He recreated the cloth paintings that portray the life of the various Buddhas. Norbu says understanding Buddhist philosophy and symbolism is key in creating a Thangka. The meaning behind the image is what attracted me into having that passion for the art. The artist has to have a visualization of the image in advance. That also depends on how much complexity and detail you want. To show the detail that goes into this ancient art, Nobu held a class for visitors to learn the techniques. One participant said she was interested in the history behind Thangkas. They're beautiful art forms, absolutely gorgeous art form. And it does take some study to understand what it means, um, but I think it's well worth it. Usually, Thangkas use natural minerals like lapis lazuli and take more than 20 days to make. A demo organizer says that painting one is time-consuming because of its devotional nature. So we see their uh, a real engagement with art as a religious practice and not simply as something that one is doing to make money. Um, invokes the blessings of the Buddhas and is in fact meditating. Norbu says that traditions like the meditative component of Thangkas have to be upheld, but he is open to changes that will promote this art. The very reason we have traditions is to maintain them, but it is important to be inventive at the same time to make this art form more useful and help it continue. My purpose is to show and share with other people the pleasures and the happiness that we experience from these paintings. By continuing to host the Thangka demonstration and the Artist in Residency program, Emory is sending a clear message. The university hopes to further and preserve this valuable art form and strengthen the Emory-Tibet relationship. Umi Kapitaparthi, Emory News Now. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.